everyone welcome back to another counter side video so today's video we are going to discuss rosaria and her review and also a possible build for her but before that if you wanted updated counter side videos please hit the subscribe button down below okay so we have here rosaria and her banner just dropped today by the way guys i was able to summon for her on the fifth pull and i wasn't i was actually very happy that i wa was not going to spend a lot of employment contracts for her so as you see i have uh 32 remaining and i won't spend any more for her because i'm going to wait for the other banners to drop let us see how she is um in terms of um uh management she's somewhere here I was actually able to level her up a bit so um she's actually new and no gears yet but more or less we will be going to the collection and be discussing her stats and her profile so let's look for that okay so we have here rosaria and um, she is actually uh, an ssr so she's a counter fallen hawk rosaria lefried so she's also a ranger air type because she floats around or she flies around with her chair with her sitting on it and her attack is all around so that means she can attack both air and ground units and so more or less rosario defreed is an all-around ranger attacker delivering powerful aoe attacks from the air so again if you really want a ssr a ranger who is actually all on attacks dps she is actually it she is she's very efficient in dealing a lot of attacks especially from range let's go to her stats and take a look at her stats okay so for her stats more or less um she has a, a decent h uh combat power with 10,323 her hp by the way is below average at 21,568 her attack is actually high, um, kind of very high in terms of um, um, in terms of all count. Uh, sorry, in, in terms of all units in this game. So at six thousand seven fifty five, her defense is actually low at one hundred eleven. Her crit is actually also high at nine sixty one. Her hit is below average at six forty four, and her evasion is also low at three thirty five. We're going to take a look at her skills <clears throat> so for her basic attack so valid hits it's one so creates a small flame and inflicts damage on the target in front stomps on approaching air units knocking them backward with aoe damage so again standard levels two three four and five it's just a plus five so total of plus 20 if you get to level her up her uh, her basic attack at level five Next is her passive skill called Owner of the Throne. So this one is very good because it permanently increases her attack by 1.5% with each skill up to 15%. Okay, and also for each level from 2 to 5, it adds to her HP a total of 20%, which actually, you know, um, is good because again, her HP is actually below average, so she needs a bump in terms of survivability for this one. And also for number 5, for level 5, immunity to all damage for 5 seconds upon deployment, which is actually good because she will be, um, she will be immune to damage as soon as she pops out. And as soon as you need immediate impact, she will be there to survive for at least more or less a, a immunity for 4 seconds. Next is her special skill, Destructive Light. So it's a 20 second cooldown skill and valid hits are 3. Fires Blazing Beam at, at enemies in front, causing hit stun and AoE damage. So for this uh, special skill, levels 3, 4, and 5, it's an additional damage, which is a total of 25%. And for level 5, a redeployment reset special skills cool uh, special skills uh cooldown sorry also causes hit stun to start to targets in special skill mode okay this is actually good number one because 
once she dies and you re and you re and you redeploy her, she gets um, to reset the skill, her special skill, and causes hit stun to targets in special skill mode. So when this damage damages this special skill, it deals hit stun as well, which is actually pretty cool. And the last is her ultimate skill, which is Punishing Edge. It's it has a 55 second cooldown. Valid hits again is 3. Rises from her throne and summons a fiery sword. Swings it once. Inflicts AoE damage on enemies in front and levitates them. Okay. Uh, level 2 to 5 is actually a damage increase which is a total of 25%. And level 5 ultimate cooldown minus 15 seconds when redeployed. So again, when she dies and you redeploy her then her ultimate skill cooldown is going to be only at 40 seconds. So again, Kit is very good. She is probably your ultimate ranger, perhaps in the game right now, especially for the Southeast Asian server. And I want to level her up to show her to show you guys what she can do in PvP. But before that, let's go to her recommended gear. Okay, so for her recommended gear, um, probably I would go with critical damage resistance. Also, if you could put in her um, anti-ranger would be good as well and anti-sniper because again, she is prone to those who can hit um, air units or can, can shoot at air units because again, she's the only air unit out there. But he, she is also very good and she is immune to ground attack only units. So because they can they can't reach her from above. So again, critical damage resistance could be it. But what I would recommend based on her kit is actually attack speed. So you have here um, this one, um, attack speed. So this is four. So this is actually, I think, going to be better for her so that she could inflict as much damage as she can. She already has a modifier for her HP, which will somehow, um, you know, somehow help her in terms of HP. Because again, um, for her second skill there, there's an increase in HP. Also, she has already high attack, so no need to increase that and high crit rate as well. Again, the others, which is defense, um, forgo with that um, hit rate below average and evasion is low because again she's a striker i uh, sorry she's a ranger but again if you really want to maximize her i would suggest first is attack speed second would be critical damage resistance and or anti-ranger and anti-sniper so that is it and that is my recommendations for her gear Okay, my final thoughts with Rosaria is, um, again, I can't pronounce her, her family name. It's the Fried or the Fried, I'm not sure. But seriously, my thoughts on her is um, it's it's a welcome sight that we have a flying a flying uh, ranger um, immune immune to ground attacks only uh, ground attack only units. And she is she she can actually I think survive in this meta because so far we haven't we don't have that much of um, what they call this the 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 meta right now is on the ground and not so much in the air so again I think she would be a good addition to your PvP team she's not bad for PvE as well but again she will shine in PvP which only she she only cost four so again she is a value. For what she brings and if you need a ranger actually i need a ranger really with um with with good range and good damage i want to pair with kyle wong currently i don't i don't have that many good rangers but i think i will have to build her up and uh give her the chance to be my top ranger or my second top ranger or second to the top ranger so more or less i like her kit damage all the way and she is a no fuss girl she will really rain in the pain once she's in the, the battlefield and she will rain the pain for your opponents on the other side anyway guys for those who stuck to the end of this video um, please consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot also don't forget to click the bell icon so that you don't miss an episode of countryside 
And guys, take care. But before that, please put down a comment if you have the comments on this video below. Take care, stay safe. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.